Hello class, welcome to major assignment one. So you're in week one or two of the class. So I hope everything is going well. This is our first big major assignment for the course. Um, with major assignments, these are treated like assessments. So you will not get a resubmission on the major assignment. What the initial grade you see after your final submission will be the grade you receive in the grade book. Um, so please make sure you are asking questions. You are double checking that your work is correct and you are following all the instructions. Formatting instructions are specifically very important. There are a lot of points contained in formatting and sometimes those instructions can be hard to follow. So please make sure you are looking at all the fine details and you are double checking all of your work. Okay, so when you open up major assignment one, it could open up on this grading sheet or it could open up on this monthly budget tab. So the grading sheet is the very first tab of this major assignment one. Major assignment one is our very first Excel sheet that has multiple tabs. So please make sure you look for the tabs. All of the tabs are gonna be found in the bottom left area of your Excel sheet. They are outside of the grid. They are going to be in that gray. Depending on the size of your computer screen, they could be condensed down. So instead of seeing all the names out here, you could see some ellipses. So just make sure you are clicking through, making sure you're finding all four sheets. You should find the grading sheet, the monthly budget, income analysis, and conversion sheet. You are responsible for completing the monthly budget, income analysis, and conversions. The grading sheet is your rubric that is going how I'm going to grade you for the major assignment one. All right, so when you open it, go ahead and get to this grading sheet. I would go ahead and look through this, make sure you understand what's expected of you, and then you'll find some formatting instructions throughout this grading sheet. Um, in the grading sheet, the blue column, you can go ahead and type in that as much as you want. You can use that to take notes or you can use that as your checklist. Um, you could use it as, yes, I did this, yes, I did, no, I need some work on that, kind of use it as a checklist of what I have finished, what I have not finished. If you have questions on certain areas, you could go ahead and do that here. So the blue area is for you to use for whatever you need. The gold area and the white area are where I will be entering in your grades. Um, I will enter in the numerical values in gold and then my scoring comments will be in the white. Uh, when I go ahead and do your grades, everything will be calculated out of 192 points and then it'll all be scaled back to 100. So major assignment one is worth 100 points in our class, but there's 192 points worth of work throughout the assignment. So um, I total it up to that 192 and then I scale it back to the 100. And then so when I post your grade, I will attach the grading sheet to it and then you'll kind of see the details of those numbers down here. Okay, the very first sheet you will be completing for to be graded is the monthly budget sheet. When you get into the monthly budget sheet, the first thing you'll notice is that you need to put your name in this blue box up here. So when you first see it, the blue box is going to be blank. If the blue box is blank, you will not have the generated values throughout the major assignment. So please make sure the very first step is you enter your name in there. Um, you can enter your full name. You don't have to put your middle name. First and last name are good. Make sure your name is longer than five letters. So in total, we need a word longer than five letters in that box. So if your name happens to be less than five letters, just put X's in until you get to five. All right, once you put your name in there, then you can go ahead and start filling in the sheet. Um, the monthly budget sheet is going to be similar to topic two, DQ2. Um, we filled out a budget sheet there. It has a little bit extra work in there, but the topic two, DQ2 can kind of help get you started. Um, one thing you do want to notice throughout the sheets is the color coding. So on our monthly budget sheet, anything that's blue, you will be typing in the information. So you'll manually be typing in mortgage payment. Anything that's green, you'll be manually typing in the numerical values. So you'll type in the number of times purchased, you'll type in the cost per purchase. Make sure you are formatting those correctly. The total cost, this is gold, this is an Excel formula. Anything that's gold needs to be an Excel formula. An Excel formula has to start with an equal sign. So all of these gold cells I see here, everything that's gold, it should start with an equal sign. So please make sure all the gold cells are using Excel formulas. Green and blue, you'll manually type in. Um, green, you'll type in a text, or sorry. Blue, you'll type in a text. Green, you type in a number. Here's the key right here, it tells you all about it. Um, and then gold, enter that Excel formula in, so make sure it's starting with an equal sign. 
The next sheet we have is the income analysis sheet. This sheet will be feel brand new to you. This is similar to the Alex homework. We have not done this in Excel before. So if you want some practice with this before you get into this major assignment one, head to topic two, DQ one, and I'll have some activities in there that help kind of work through what's happening on this sheet. Um, on this sheet though, do notice that all the soul, all of the cells are gold. So all the cells should start with an equal sign. They should contain that Excel formula. Um, our last sheet is the conversion sheet. So this sheet again, just like the income analysis, we have not done this in Excel, but we have done this in Alex. So you'll notice that the work is similar to Alex, but the Excel could feel brand new to you. I again have a practice activity for this in topic two, DQ1. So if you wanna practice your conversions before the final submission, go ahead and go into that topic two, DQ1 and look for my extra activity there and you'll find this. Uh, when you are working through the conversions, this is going to take some time to get comfortable with the format, so do make sure you plan ahead for that. The blue cells will be the units, so you'll manually type in all your units into the blue cells. The gold cells will contain formulas that build your conversion factors. So this is going to take some practice, so please make sure you plan ahead for the conversions. My tip for the conversion sheet, do it on paper first and then try to tackle the Excel. I have found conversions, it's better to be able to work through the problem, visualize the path, it, know the math part of it, and then go into the Excel and try to figure out the Excel part. And then very lastly, do not miss this little part down here. We have some Celsius to Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit to Celsius conversions. Again, those, those are gold, so those will be an Excel formula. They should start with an equal sign. Uh, in this table, it goes vertically. So the Fahrenheit of 36, you would convert to Celsius. The Celsius of 56, you would convert to Fahrenheit. All right, so major assignment one, you've got four sheets to complete. Each major assignment is unique to each student. So as you were looking through mine, the numbers could change on yours. So do keep that in mind if you're looking at it and you're like, I remember hers had 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Yours probably won't have the same numbers. So just do make sure you watch for that. Um, and then one last thing to note is that you do need to make sure you have the most update version of Excel. So if your Excel is out of date, so if it's an older version or if you are not using Microsoft Excel, so for example, if you're using Google Sheets, you could run into some issues as you're working through the major assignment one. So please make sure that you download the most ver recent version of Excel. GCU does offer it for free um, since you guys are students. So um, we can get to it through IT. If you need help finding those links, just let me know and I can send them to you. All right, class. So this is kind of the big overview for major assignment one. I will be posting three additional videos to help with the monthly budget, income analysis, and conversion sheets. I hope this helps get you started. Feel free to send me any questions you guys have as you're working.